Whoa, what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a brand new video we're on the ptr server i sat in queue with about 5,000 other people let's take a look at the new character sombra all right so i'm not gonna lie i already failed at this video once but let's do it again so it's new game out it's an arcade playlist now quick play arcade and competitive uh, the changes are that quick play uh now has the same kind of rule set as competitive that you have to only have one character per team or like one one of the character on your team right so you can't like go a full tracer winston combo or anything like that uh only one tracer allowed at once uh, so it's a ptr that's what it looks like and there's an arcade mode which some fun stuff there it's just a new game mode. Uh, we can go to the hero gallery. Sombra in here. Let's go through all the skins real quick. All the recolors. This is max graphics on the PC. So it might look a little bit worse on uh, PS4 or Xbox One. Uh, well, I, I know it'll look worse, but... You know. They're not going to have... Uh, actually, they might have the same textures. I don't know what the PS4 and Xbox One have for textures, but these are all the Sombra skins. If you don't have access to Sombra, if you're playing on the PS4 or the Xbox One, uh, this hair looks a lot like Mercy's uh, one skin that she has. And this is probably my favorite one, the blue one. Uh, here's what the weapon looks like on the skins. Go through all the weapon skins. The pink. And... Yeah, a lot of these recolors look good. This is probably my favorite recolor. Mm. And the cyberspace is definitely my favorite skin. So those are all the skins. Here are the emotes. Boop. <laughs> so this one's definitely my favorite emote, just because she boops it. We have the victory poses, the hacked, the kneeling, and the rising. Rising's probably my favorite out of those. Um, Where's the fun in playing fair? The pelos. Did you mean to do that? You're just a glitch in the system. Good one. Hack the planet. Hack the planet. I think you're in over your head. Just squishing a bug. Mess with the best and die like the rest. Ooh. You're taking this very seriously. Mess with the best and die like the hack the planet. I like think hack the planet is probably my favorite. Uh, we have a few sprays. So here's a default one that's already unlocked. Uh, we have a few other ones. Uh, there's a cute Sombra. There's a bunch of really cool ones. You know, just the ones you would expect to have. Uh, this one's really cool. It's a hacked version of a different spray. I like that. You got the Sombra and Graffiti, the Superior. This one looks pretty cool. So a bunch of cool sprays there. I'm not going to show all the sprays. Switch sprays. So what I was really disappointed in is there's no boop highlight intro. Uh, they'll probably add one in the future though, my guess. And the default. So there's all the highlight intros and this is what your gun looks gold and of course if you had a different weapon skin that would also change how the gold looks. But there's the gold on the gun. Of course, let's go into a match. So I could go into quick play and play as Sombra, but it's just going to be all Sombras in quick play. So I'd rather go into a training mode, show it off there. So here's Everything what she looks like in first person. And, and here are the abilities. So shift makes sure you go invisible and run faster, which is a very interesting. Her machine gun. Does good headshot damage, kind of like Tracer, except it has a lot larger magazine than Tracer. Uh, your E is very interesting, so you can throw this, hit E again, and it teleports you to it. Um, you only have a certain amount of time to get back to your beacon, uh, and it can be very useful. There's some very interesting ways uh, you could use that skill. For instance, you could hack the health packs. Uh, this makes the health packs refresh faster, and it also makes it so the enemies can't take your health packs. So if we take a little bit of damage here, we take some damage here. Thank you. Uh, we take the health pack. You can see it's refreshing a lot faster. So say we were going to get into a gunfight. We could hack one of these things. 
and we can reset the hack. Uh, the hack will slowly run out. You can see the skull slowly going down. Uh, that means the hack is going to run out on the skull. Uh, we can place our beacon back here. Uh, say but then when you want to take some damage. And we can just right click. Or not right click, hit E. And teleport us back on to our health pack. Uh, and of course you can go as far away from the beacon as you want. And still teleport back. So we can shift, go invisible, go attack some enemies. And then if we need to go back, we just hit E, teleports us back, and we have health. So, very interesting character, of course. Uh, she looks very, she's a very small character, she's got 200 health and a very fast movement speed, which I like. So this is kind of like a tracer sort of style of character, the way you play her, uh, but with some really cool and interesting abilities. And of course, you can also hack enemies. Uh, you can't hack your teammates, I tried that. But you can hack enemies, and that disables, I think, one or all of their skills for a short amount of time. Um, your ultimate? I don't actually know what the ultimate does. I think it hacks, it does, it's like a mass hack, uh, is what I think it does. Uh, you can correct me in the comments, but I think if you pop it, like, if you're in a team fight and you pop your ult, uh, that will mass hack a bunch of enemies all at once, like in an area of effect hack, sort of. So, Sombra is definitely a very interesting character. I like her gun. I would like to see how this would do. I think the gun would be good against like a Roadhog or a tank. Uh, this is probably a very good character to kill a Reinhardt. Like say you have a Reinhardt sitting on a payload and you want to get behind him, you can throw your teleporter, get behind him, uh, you could go invisible, run behind the shield. Like there's a bunch of situations where this character could be used for a very good flank character. Uh, if you take any damage when you're invisible or you or you want to shoot uh, when you're invisible you have to go out of invincibility so you can't uh, say I wanted to shoot this guy I have to go out of the invisibility so uh, it's a pretty balanced character they'll probably there's probably gonna be a nerf and or buff uh, to this character I'm guessing the guns gonna get nerfed a little bit I don't know how much health these guys have I think it's 100 or 150 health the training bots have but you can melt them pretty quick at close range so I don't know what's going to happen with this character, but the meta should change uh, because of the character being in the game. It's very interesting. Uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, uh, drop a like and tell me what your favorite part of the new character is. Can't wait for Blizzard's next character to be added to Overwatch. Uh, can't wait to play this one in the actual live servers, too. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Hack the planet.